Now, what about bringing in items from Excel? For that, you just want to make sure that your Excel sheet is formatted in such a way to where I call it access friendly. In other words, it's well organized, you have columns across the top, and you don't have a bunch of extraneous stuff at the top. In other words, you just have your data. No headers, none of that stuff. Just your data with the column headings at the top. So that said, we're going to bring in an employee list that we have stored in Excel right now. So to do that, from external data, I'm going to click Excel. Now from here, notice that because we've been working with the Access 2016 folder, it wants to go back there, and that's a good thing. You have the options of importing the source data into a new table or linking to it. But you can also append a copy of the records to an existing table. Now this is only going to work if you've already got a table with the same fields, basically, which we don't. So we're going to go with Import here. I'll click Browse. and there's a current employees spreadsheet right here. We'll click open. We'll click OK. So this is what I'm talking about with the data being well organized. Notice that we don't have extraneous headings at the top. We just have column headings. And I'm going to check the box that says first row contains column headings so that the first row comes in as column headings. We'll click next. Now one thing that's nice about importing from Excel, we didn't see this importing from Access, is you can decide which fields you want to import. You can click on any of these fields and decide, you know what, this is not important to me. So I'm going to skip this. Now in this case, we do want to import all four of these fields, so I'm not going to skip anything here. The other thing you can do is you can also change the data type if needed. For example, I've got the higher date field selected. The data type says date with time. If I decide I want this to be something else, I can make that choice here. But these look like dates, so we'll leave this setting right where it is. We'll click next. Now one thing we're going to cover shortly is a primary key, which is a way in which we can make sure every record in a table is unique. You'll notice that there is not a field that is really a good candidate for a primary key here, as you could have duplicate last names, first names, titles, all that. But it's adding an ID field here so that there's a primary key for this so that every employee gets a unique number. This is something we're going to want with most tables, so we'll click Next. And as far as giving this a name, I think we can do a little bit better than Sheet 1. So I'm going to call this what it is, current employees. And then we'll click finish. And we'll close this. And there is the new access table for current employees imported from Excel.